Welcome to the Adventures in Alchemy podcast, where we share tips, techniques, and true stories to support you in using the law of attraction and alchemy to create magic and live the life of your dreams. Here's your host, the founder of DailyAlchemy.com, Michelle Martin Dobbins. Hi, this is Michelle Martin Dobbins, and this is Adventures in Alchemy. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about calling in angels or calling in the essence of something. Many years ago, I learned from Doreen Virtue about calling in angels. And this has been so long ago that I've probably totally distorted how she taught it. But I remember her talking about like whatever you wanted to experience, you would call that in. So like when I'm going on a car ride, I may call in the angels of peace, the angels of harmony, the angels of family fun, the angels of smooth, safe travel. Whatever is what I am needing right now is what I'm calling in. And if you are not a person who particularly connects with the thought of angels, you can always call in the essence of something or the spirit of something, whatever feels good to you. But I've done this before and I've found it to be really good. And for some reason, the times that I find that I'm calling on angels in these situations are a lot of times when I'm doing car tri- family car trips and a lot of stuff with kids and families. So I don't know. I guess, you know, parenting requires angels <laughs> or a little bit of heavenly assistance or universal assistance, however the case may be for you. But I've had some really magical results with this. I know that one time I just decided to randomly just say angels of laughter for like a day. And I just remember things happening and we were all in my family just laughing until our sides hurt. And I don't remember like what particularly made us laugh or got us on that path, but just it wasn't that we sat down and watched a funny movie. It was just like conversations that we had and little things that came up that made us laugh. So it was really telling that either I set my intention on that or the angels of laughter were working with me. And it doesn't really matter to me anyway why. It just is enough to know that I set my intention and my intentions followed through. This weekend, we went to visit some cousins who we like truly, truly adore and love and love to spend time with. But I have four children. They have three children. Um, A little secret note here. I am my husband brother is married to my cousin and I'm an only child and this cousin is a cousin that I was closest to we're 11 months apart in age and she and her brother are the closest things I have in this world to siblings and we end up with the same kind of things that siblings sometimes have like I don't know like these little rivalries or just things that go on I mean we like love and adore each other but it's also quite crazy And so when I went to visit, we went to visit them this weekend, I decided I was going to call in the angels of harmony, peace, family connection, and everything was so easy and so smooth. Like there was no problem because sometimes there are problems in like choosing the restaurant or if like one child wants to stay at the hotel with us and this and that and working all those things out can just be like, ugh. And this weekend, it was just ease and flow and bliss and harmony. And did it just happen that way or did it happen because I called in my angels? Um, I think that my intention, whether it be through angels or just through my intention, made a big difference in our weekend. And I was very thankful for it. And I'm hoping that this is going to keep me to remember to do this every time we visit so that um, we can continue to experience family harmony. Love, love, love the family harmony. So give it a try in your life. If like angels or something that they're like, I don't believe in, don't want to deal with this, call in the spirit of laughter, the spirit of joy or the essence of joy, or the essence of laughter or whatever term works well for you. But give it a try. Um, either try it for something like a trip or something like that or a project that you're working on and your work or just for the fun of it. You know, one day just call in the essence or the angels of laughter and see what happens. 
And I would love, love, love to hear what happens for you if you play with this technique. You can send me an email. Go to my website, dailyalchemy.com. And from there, you'll see buttons that go to directly to my email, that go to my Facebook, that go to my Twitter, and every other little social media thing that you can think of. So I'd love for you to email me, tweet me, send me a message on my Facebook page, and hear how this works for you. And if you have any suggestions for future episodes, I would love to hear that too, because I want to be of service to you. I want you to get some good tips and answers for any questions that you might have. And if you're looking for more support and you'd like to connect more with people who are playing with having a magical life and enjoying the world around them and creating a life that they love, you can go also to dailyalchemy.com and you will see a tab on the menu bar that says Magical Life Manifesting Club. And that is my club where we have monthly classes, Q&A calls, a private Facebook group, And there's always little fun surprises. This month, all of my members were able to get free angel card readings that I did for them since we are talking about angels and spirit guides and higher self assistance this month in the Magical Life Manifesting Club. So if that's something that you're interested in, I would love to have you come over and check it out. Have a wonderful day. And remember that it's the journey that is important and try to enjoy as much of it as you can. Have a wonderful day. Namaste. Thanks for listening to the Adventures in Alchemy podcast. Connect with me on thedailyalchemy.com or Facebook at facebook.com slash Michelle Dobbins author. Join us next time for even more magical life tips.